Well, hello everybody, and thanks for tuning in to another great Caribbean soul food recipe. Today, we're cooking up something very special and dear to my heart. This is my father's all-time favorite white lima butter beans. When I was a little girl, he made these for me. These took forever to cook late into the night, but my dad made them and they were such a treat. So today I'm going to show you how we shorten the process of cooking these and we still come up with the same delicious uh, dish that my father made. My dad made them with ham hocks, but we're making them with ham today. So today is a ham and bean kind of day. So let's get cracking with our great uh, ingredients to bring you this wonderful, wonderful dish of beans. Okay guys, we are ready to get going with this great recipe, uh, white lima beans. One of the uh, favorite recipes from my father when I was a little girl, he made these for me and him to eat. It usually took a long time to cook them. I never knew why, but I'm going to uh, cut down the cooking process because I've soaked my beans. I've soaked them overnight in cool water so that they could actually do what they call swell, yeah. which get, you know gives the bean more of a tender uh, uh, texture. It helps it to cook up quicker. Yeah, honey, so, honey, uh, yes, those yes, beans honey. was that big. Wow, they swelled up like yes, that. Yes, yes, honey. When we put them in the you know in the water, the water, they were smaller. Oh my God. So now they're all swelled up. That means they've soaked pretty good. Oh yes. Uh, it helps them to cook up faster. So now my hands have been all washed, nice and clean for this recipe, just so that you know. So that's one of your traditions. This from, is one. From yeah, Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. My dad made these. Oh my God. Yep, this my is dad. Nice. Made. These are so good with cornbread. Oh, you don't even need anything else wow and we're gonna cook my dad always made them with ham hocks oh. but i'm going to switch up the meat because mm -hmm. i like beans and ham the healthy stuff. Mm, yeah so we're gonna put this with ham mm -hmm. and what i've actually done here is i got a an eight ounce eight ounce ham steak which is already you know ready to eat it's a a boneless hickory smoked ham you can get any type of ham you want. You can use ham hocks. You can use smoked turkey. Ooh, can you put sweet meat in there? You can put sweet meat in here. Oh, nice. Yes, you can eat any kind of meat pretty much wow. that's smoked mm -hmm. uh, goes good with this. Oh, okay. And, and ham is a great meat to put with beans. Yes, so yes. what I've done here is I have a pound bag of beans. Mm -hmm. You know, when we got them, it was a little bag. You'll little see them on bag. your shelf. Oh, my God. Right, and you find these in the, um, in the area with your peas, yeah. your rice, you know that's where you're gonna find them black in your beans, in your grocery IPs, store. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You find them there. Wow. So we have our we have our, our ham steak. Uh, you can get sliced ham or any kind of ham you want to put, and you can put as much as you want. Mm -hmm. I'm only putting this eight ounce because this I thought would be a you know a great amount for yeah. what we're, it we're like doing. Perfect size. I mean. Yeah, yeah. And we we're gonna take this ham. Now I chop this ham into nice dices. It's something you're gonna want to do mm -hmm. is dice your ham. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. And our recipes are simple, as I said. We have a sea salt. Yes. We have a Cajun seasoning. Your favorite. And we have black pepper. Oh, yes. And the only other thing we're going to need is going to be uh, water. Now, when you finish cooking these, you can pair this with some fresh onion to eat. Uh, it's so good when you mix it in. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're going to take these beans, and we're going to put them in a pot. You're going to get a medium size or a large pot, whichever, however many you cook. It this depends is, on how many people you're going to feed. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, okay. and because the beans cook up, I use my nice, you know, it's not a large, large. It's a nice medium size pot to me. I call it medium because I cook in it all the time. So you're going to want to put your beans in there like that. Okay. After they've been washed, when you bring them home, you wash them thoroughly, um, really good. And then you uh, leave them to soak overnight. You cover them so that, you know, nothing flies in them. You're going to want to cover them. How long does it take, Bentley? Well, it could take anywhere from an hour, hour and a half. Ooh. And we're going to, um, we're going to uh, add some water. So I have uh, here okay. a big, uh, a big cup. So I'm going to add, uh, let's you see. You got the measuring cup. Yeah, I got a measure, a big oh, measuring okay. cup. So that's okay. two cups. Oh, okay. That's two cups. Mm -hmm. And that's four cups. Oh, okay. You're going to want to add a lot of water to cook them up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with enough to pretty much cover the beans and maybe mm -hmm. half the pot. So I would say a half pot of water in a large pot of this size. Okay. Does it, um, the time goes down the cooking or uh, since you soak them, the time goes down? Yeah, it does go down. Oh, it does okay. go down. Okay. It does go down. Okay. But we're going to cook them low so we don't overcook them. Oh. We don't want them to turn to mush. Oh, okay. So we have about 10 cups of water. 
And if we need to add water along the way, we will. Oh. And then we're going to eyeball some salt, not too much. Oh, okay. okay. And we're going to eyeball some Cajun Creole seasoning. Nice. We can always add more to that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some black pepper. Oh, yes. And that's it. Now, you're not going to add the ham until the beans are almost done. So somewhere around 15 minutes or so before the beans. Well, after that 45 hour? Yeah, hour yeah after about 45 minutes, you need to check your beans. Okay. See if they're tender. And if they've cooked down, they're going to have a nice, like a, a juicy, brothy mm. kind of sauce. And then you're going to want to throw your meat in there a little later, after they've started oh, to cook up. You don't want to throw it in right now because you want them to add flavor towards right, the right. end. It's like a pot. Yes. So. so hold on to your hold on to your meat. Let your beans cook up on a medium heat for okay. about an hour. Oh, and then okay. you're gonna to continue to stir. You're gonna make sure you have enough water to keep cooking the beans for about an hour. Okay. And you're gonna judge about how much broth you'd like. Because oh. if you're gonna make cornbread, you want to have you know the juice to go with your right. cornbread. So let's hold off with our ham mm -hmm. and we're gonna add that without about an hour to okay. in the cooking okay. process, okay? Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna put these on the stove and we will come back and check on these in an hour and see how they're cooking up. And we'll add our ham at that time. Okay. Honey. Okay, all right, sweetie. All right. On to the stove we go. All right. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back and ready to uh, check on our beans and get ready to add our ham or whatever other meat you're adding to your beans today. So when I started this recipe, I actually told you that I was starting with 10 cups of water. I actually started with 12 cups of water, but I did that in order to give my beans uh, some cooking uh, juice because you want to have enough water there so that your beans do not um, stick together or stick to the pot. So you want to gauge that along the way when you're actually adding your water. If you want to start with eight cups, 10 cups, that's fine but you have to cook them low so they don't stick to the pot. Uh, as you go along, you can add more water, but you wanna have a nice creamy texture, a creamy base with your beans. And um, mine is starting to cook up where the water starts to turn kind of a yellowish color, kind of matches the beans. You know at that point, the beans are cooking up really nicely. You want to taste your beans to see if they're soft. If they're soft, you know they're pretty much almost done. Uh, you know, if they're still pretty hard, you're going to want to, you know, let them cook a little longer. If you if you need to add a little more water, that's okay. But just don't add a lot more water. You don't want them so watery that you have a pot full of juice or broth and, you know, not a lot of beans. So I'm going to be adding my ham right now. You want to do that carefully so that you don't get burned. And you're just going to stir. And you're going to cover them again. And you, you're going to put them on low at this point. So on low, I would think for another half hour, and your beans should be ready to go. So you want to turn them down, like, really low. So they're not going to boil over. And that's another thing. When you start this cooking process, please be careful to make sure you crack your lid when you're cooking your beans at a medium heat to start. You want to make sure your lid is cracked so that you don't get the boil over from the uh, water and have a mess all over the stove and possibly burn yourself. So we're going to let our beans cook now on a low heat and we can actually cover them at this point on the low heat. Uh, it's gonna be okay. They've already gone through that boil over stage so you should be okay. So an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, top, I would think top time for your beans to cook a one pound bag uh, with the kind of meat of your choice, uh, anything that is uh, a, um, a smoked meat is what you're looking for. Season to taste along the way, and you should have yourself a great pot of beans. Okay, guys, there we go. There's our beans and ham uh, all finished with a slice of cornbread. Again, these are lima beans or butter beans, whichever one you want to call them. I hope that you enjoy this great recipe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at our YouTube channel. And we will see you again in the near future, future with some other great recipes. All right, we All out. Right, we out. Have a great night. Enjoy your beans.